Hey guys, Superbro Mike here, and in today's video, we return for one final tour of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion as we take a look at the final specimens still up for analysis, this time in the game's endless mode. This is a mode that was added in as free DLC and available to further challenge players after beating the game's story mode. It contains, as the title suggests, a never-ending number of randomly generated rooms to navigate, as well as most of the monsters from the Karamari Hospital expansion and five brand new terrifying specimens exclusive to this mode. If you haven't checked out my previous two videos looking at the specimens from Story Mode and Karamari Hospital, then I would recommend doing so as those will not be covered in this one. With that said, let's take a look at the final five specimens inhabiting the halls of Endless Mode. Known as Whiteface, Specimen 1 is the only enemy in this new mode who originated from a different horror game entirely. Whiteface is a horrifying sight to be sure. Made up from a pixelated skeletal head with a scarred face, this apparition first appeared in indie horror game I'm Scared, a game Spooky's creators greatly admired. Many of Whiteface's mechanics in Endless Mode are a homage to its behaviour in I'm Scared. Upon entering a room, the player is warned of Whiteface's impending appearance by booming piano music. <coughs> As we venture forward, the environment turns to a pixel art style reminiscent of the I Am Scared game. Loud static begins to pierce our ears, and eventually this spooky face materialises to give chase. If we look at Whiteface for more than a brief moment, it will flash the screen red and teleport to a new location. And to add further to our torment, rooms sometimes begin to loop to prevent the number from ticking up. Whiteface can even travel through walls to try and cut us off, but with persistence it is possible to eventually escape this floating terror. If we do not escape, then the following death screen plays out. The message, death is no escape, flashes on screen. A body hangs from a noose, which is a reference to the famous sequence from I'm Scared. And just like the game Whiteface originates from, our own name is displayed upon this corpse. It's pretty eerie and unnerving, but it gets worse. Whiteface slowly creeps toward us as it makes the following statements. Look at you. How sad. Your body is all closed up. A text box appears on screen and allows us to type a short message. Typing in the word open results in something gruesome to say the least. A second chase sequence now begins with a far more realistic version of Whiteface. It seems to take place within the fleshy walls of our own body. If we escape during this chase sequence, then we are given a second chance and respawn back in the mansion. You'll never have been so happy to see its familiar brickwork. Inspired by eerie animatronics found in games such as Five Nights at Freddy's, Unknown Specimen 2, also known as Otto the Otter, is a mix between comical and creepy. His laugh even sounds oddly similar to that of Freddy Fazbear. Take a listen. It is by this laugh that Otto makes his presence to the player known. He lacks a specific chase theme of his own. So keep your ears open for that deep chuckle. Otto has his very own environment in Endless Mode 2, and this resembles the pizzerias from the Five Nights at Freddy's game series. He only gives chase after we consume a piece of pizza sat beside him on his stage. <laughs> If Otto catches up to us, the screen shakes as he roars into it and pizza goes flying. I wouldn't worry too much about Otto catching up though, as he is incredibly slow. 
also known as Spooper. Endless Mode's third specimen looks to be a child dressed in a very basic ghost costume. He stands in front of certain doorways throughout this new mode, blocking players from entering. The only way to pass by Spooper is by hitting them with an axe. At this point, Spooper disappears and the player can continue onward. However, it's pretty eerie when we enter the next room and realise this specimen is once again standing in the way of our exit. Only this time their costume is slightly torn and bloodied. The more we repeat this process of hacking them, the more mangled Spoop becomes until it vanishes and gives chase. The chase takes place inside filthy rooms. The air in these rooms contains a poison gas which gradually depletes our health as chilling audio plays out. Every now and again we fall to the floor and spew up blood and bile. A living organism writhes around in the resulting puddle, making us question what exactly is happening to our character and what this poison gas actually contains. If the player does fall prey to Spooper during this chase sequence, then a death screen will flash up with the following text. Beyond that door is another world, a world made of dreams, a world where all your fantasies have come true, a world full of everyone's sick fantasies, a world lusting to include you. This text seems to allude to the mansion being a world where dark dreams and fantasies come to life. We know Spooky was once a little girl who died trying to scare the wrong person during Halloween, and now terrifies people for real within this very mansion. So this text suddenly makes sense when we make an unsettling connection between Spooky and Spooper. You see, during Spooky's flashback scene found in the arcade machine easter egg, we see another person stood beside her, one dressed in a ghost costume very similar to the one Spooper now wears. Specimen 4, also known as Terziak, has a decidedly cute anime appearance. Don't let this peaceful look fool you though, she is anything but docile. Her look seems to be inspired by folklore such as the Japanese myth of the fox woman. Much in the same way as Specimen 8 defended his herd of deer from the wrath of our axe, Terziak does the same for her spirit creatures here. We find ourselves in a snow-steeped forest covered in a light mist from which Terziak appears and gives chase. Like certain other specimens, Terziak can float through walls and deals heavy damage with each attack, making her a formidable opponent to say the least. Her chase theme is tribal in nature, but the longer we listen to it, the creepier and more unsettling it becomes. As we are chased, silhouettes of animals such as bears and wolves block our path and we must cut through them quickly with the axe. From time to time, Terziak will faintly taunt us with the following voice lines. Such strange prey you are. Let the cold consume you. Death is near. Why do you run? Upon death, we are transported to a woodland clearing, where wolves appear at the tree line before periodically mauling the player to death. <laughs> Our bloody remains are shown spread across the snow-covered ground moments later. Finally, we have Unknown Specimen 5, also known as Lisa. Her appearance very obviously inspired by the character of Lisa from Hideo Kojima's Silent Hill concept demo, P.T., a game which sadly never came to fruition. Lisa has a mangled face, long black hair, skin pale as snow, and wears a dirty stained dress. She shuffles around barefoot upon making her first appearance. The trick to escaping Lisa is to keep eye contact with her at all times, as turning away allows her to quickly teleport over to us and attack. The lead up to meeting Lisa is highly creepy. We hear ominous ambient sounds playing, including rasping breathing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
As we move closer to her location, notes are presented to us via cutouts of Specimen 1, which pop out from holes in the wall. These notes make up the following sentences. I've been watching you for a while now. Why even bother filling your lungs? Reading these won't help you. Only death can help you. You think you're clever, don't you? Do you feel safe? Your blood smells so thick, I can hear your vessels oozing. If we are taken down by Lisa, the image of her rotting head appears on screen in black and white. Bugs crawl out of her mouth and eyes as the following message is displayed. You cannot dream without darkness. You cannot wake without pain. Tear off your foolish disguise. Lisa is certainly one of the creepiest new specimens to grace endless mode, and one you'll want to spend as little time around as humanly possible. With that said, we've come to the end of this roundup of every specimen in Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. It has taken us three videos, but I hope you've enjoyed this video series, as well as the story theory video that I did previously. And if you have, remember to check out the game for yourselves, as it's certainly worth your time. If there are any further elements of this game you would like to see me cover on the channel, let me know in the comments section below. And if you have enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, as well as subscribing for more horror-related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Well, you made it. Congratulations, I guess.